So many areas up and down our coastline are worried about mm. the impacts of this storm. One area that's especially concerned about the effects of Elsa is Gulfport. Yeah, many people there are worried because uh, they'll see this water rise within the next few hours. They know it's going to happen. Our Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty is joining us live in downtown Gulfport. They have the history here. They know what to expect. That's right. They had Ada and they're preparing right now for Elsa. Many preparations already underway at this exact moment. Winds are really picking up within the last 15 minutes. Debris like this has been falling. You can take a look at these palm trees and see that it's quite gusty out here. Now, Gulfport's mayor says Ada slammed multiple boats into this shoreline and now he's worried that it's going to happen again. You get, you know, anywhere from like 25 to 30 is kind of a rough estimate. Of Gulfport Mayor Sam Henderson is worried. He says they have a couple dozen boats off of Boca Ciega Bay, but they're not all tied up. Sometimes in the past we've had boats wash up. They don't just wash onto the beach. They wash into, you know, our municipal infrastructure, like our, our docks, our pier, uh, these railings here. Um, and so that adds an added cost to taxpayers in the city. Look at this. The mayor says Tropical Storm Ada slammed seven boats on shore in total, costing the city about $20,000 to remove. This is a boat that we have. It's a 60 foot steel boat. Lithia Castillo has called this boat home for three years. For safety reasons, Castillo didn't come to shore, but instead spoke with Aid on Your Side via Zoom from her boat. She plans to ride out the storm on board with her fiance and their dog. Anxiety, yeah, it's up on the scale. Adrenaline is all the way up to a 10. <laughs> Castillo says she's been preparing her boat to battle Elsa for three days. Like the mayor, one of her biggest concerns is boats that aren't properly secured. They leave them out here and they haven't been on the vessels. And for us liveaboards, that's our biggest danger is these vessels running into our vessels. So we're up all night. And here's a live look at Castillo's boat. She's on it right now with her dog and fiance. And again, she plans to ride that out all night. Now, according to Pinellas County Emergency Management, the worst of the storm is expected to hit between 11 p.m. tonight and 3 a.m. tomorrow. Reporting live in Gulfport, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.